what's up, nice windows and sharks. Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So right now, we're going downstairs to start our VIP experience. Let's get this started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. And we are headed to Terminal 3. Well, I should have invested in that gimbal. Oh, this must be the one. Turn off. Okay, that's a good Grand Transportation. Hard left over here. It's like Grand Transportation, baggage claim, and Terminal 3. That's where we are. Okay, guys, now we just gotta find the car. Right here is at the parking bridge. Oh, there's the driver. Caroline, right? Yes. Eric, nice to meet you, ma'am. How are you? Do we have more bags? Uh, no, I'm, oh. I travel light. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome. Ah, thank you. Yeah, sure, it was nice of you guys to send a ride out my way. <laughs> We're going to go out these. Oh, yes, ma'am. Ooh, is this our ride? Ah, oh, look at that. Lion size, love it. Thank you, ma'am. Yep. Oh, excellent, thank you. Good deal. So I bet you're wondering how I found myself in this position. Well, it's all because I decided to add a special add-on to my Vidara check-in. So here's the lowdown on the VIP experience. A few months back, when we had booked the Vidara VIP check-in experience, we noticed it was $100. Since we were getting the Vidara rooms for free, it didn't look like a bad deal. According to the website, here's what you get. Early check-in as early as 11 o'clock in the morning, free transportation to the hotel from McCarran International Airport. A quote welcome amenity, pre-arrival email from the concierge, curbside check-in, and of course, a nightly turndown service. So what's all that mean? Let's find out. Oh, there's a back door. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like Signature at MGM Grand. I like it. Nice. Oh, and this must be us. Nice. Already decorated for Christmas. Ah. Yeah, I think we're going to come back to Aria in December. Yeah. That'll be me and the boss lady. So the experience starts with the limo pickup from McCarran Airport. Not a town car, but a proper limo service with a chauffeur and everything. So that was pretty dope. Chauffeur was very nice, came prepared with some light refreshments, and the trip was short. Still scenic, but we took a pretty back way to the hotel. The Vidar is kinda in the back end of the strip, right behind the area, so traffic was a little less obnoxious. We already checked in, so you're all set. Your room's ready now. Oh. So Nice, nice. I've never stayed here before. No. All right. All right. 
right across. Cool. Down that hallway goes into the Bellagio. All right. Walk around. Walk around. Nice. Cafe here, bar downstairs. Yeah, it's very pretty in here. Just right down here. Cool. After that, I was greeted by what I can assume is a guest experience manager or something of the like. Normally, this is the point where you check in. I assume the VIP check-in and the early check-in meant that you got to use the check-in line that Platinum and Noir members got to use to check in. But no, they check you in remotely on the curb. They register your credit card, confirm that you're you, and get your room key all lined up in one shot. Without you having to do a thing. I honestly don't remember pulling out my ID for this portion of the experience at all. I might have, I just don't remember it offhandedly. As far as the welcome amenity goes, that didn't come into play until later. I ended up using the Vidara tablet, which you can check out in another video linked above, to order a bit of room service. While they were heading my direction that morning with my burger for breakfast, they also decided to send up a little gift basket, fresh fruit, candies, and a couple liters of Fiji water to help me recover from a good night of karaoke. More about that later. Pre-arrival email escapes me right now. I'm sure they sent it as they were on top of everything else up to that point, but most of my shows, restaurants, and other plans were all booked in advance by me and comped by my My Vegas Rewards, so I didn't really need to make use of the concierge. And as far as the nightly turndown service goes, well, I couldn't tell you much about that either. I don't know what it actually entails, and I'm certain I didn't actually use it. What I did find surprisingly is that on my folder I had been approved for the Vidara Club Lounge, which was a quiet hideaway for guests. It's normally $75 to $100 a night as an add-on, and included wine, non-alcoholic beverages, and snacks in the actual lounge. Not something I specifically asked for, but for some reason, it was included. Maybe being the dark night of Domino City is finally starting to pay off. Overall, the VIP check-in experience was a really cool thing to do. Was it worth $100? I'd say since it included the limo service and the VIP club lounge in my case, although the club lounge isn't actually outlined on the website, it probably was. The curbside check-in and early check-in is very nice, especially since I didn't actually have to run the check-in queue, though I didn't get a chance to try the old $20 tip to see if I got any other special upgrades for free. Definitely a fun experience, and if you're up to splurge, I definitely say it makes you feel like you're a very valued M-Life guest, whether you really are or not. But I can see myself not wanting to do it every time I go to a hotel. It's great for special occasions, or maybe trying to spice up a trip for you and someone special. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Let's see behind the robes. Nice little robes over here. Hotel branded. All right, that looks pretty solid. Looks about the right size for everything I need. Oh, you guys even have slippers in here too. That's pretty dope. All right. If you need anything for like kitchenware and items like that, I can set up to the room for you as well. Like plates, silverware. Nice. Um, you guys call house to be anything as well. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, just offer those lines. You're gonna just press whichever ones you want. You can up or down. Like, All right. Those. They'll get them all in one shot, huh? <laughs> that is pretty cool. And that should be everything in the room. Also, if you need down to serve, there's not a sign. You just press this here and it'll change your door light to purple color. Perfect. If you don't have to come in or from the house, it'll change the green outside. Sounds you good. All right, all awesome. Else, all right, thanks, Mike. All right, thank you. Well, that's all the time we have for today's video, My Spinners and Sharks. If you enjoyed it and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time, I think we'll loosen up a little bit with a little karaoke. Until then, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing off, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva.